Good morning, I'm Vergis. First up, Tavrekere police seized around rupees 78 lakh of unaccounted money. The money was seized while it's being transported in an Indica car. Four people have been taken into custody by the police. The operation to seize the car was spearheaded by election officer Shailaja after she was tipped off. The car was seized in Magdi at around 9.30 last night. The police are trying to ascertain the source of the money. The people who were arrested have claimed that the money was being taken to an ATM. However, the police have launched an investigation on the matter to determine the source of the money. Another case of seizure of money has come to light and this time in Bengaluru, the Tavrekari police have taken an Indica car along with four of its passengers into custody. The police have seized 78 lakh rupees of unaccounted money from these four people. The four have claimed that this money was being taken to an ATM but there were no documents with regards to this. The seizure of the car comes after information was given to the election officer Shailaja who was tipped off regarding the transport of this money from Bengaluru to Magdi. The car was in fact seized at Magdi Road and taken into the custody of the Tavrakari police. <laughs> the police are trying to ascertain the source of this income that these people have been claiming. They were not able to furnish any sort of documents with regards to this money that was seized. They only claimed that this money was being taken to an ATM. But the police said that most of the time the security agencies rely on highly specialized vehicles to transport the money, this kind of money. But this gang was seen transporting it in an Indica car. This raised the suspicions and the car was taken into custody. The, the police are trying to ensure the source from which this money has come. The vehicle was seized at around 9.30 last night after a tip-off to an election officer who also spearheaded this operation in seizing this vehicle. The vehicle was seized at Magdi Road and rupees 78 lakh in cash was recovered from this vehicle. Four passengers were arrested. When they were questioned, they said the money was being transported to an ATM. But the police were suspicious because most of the security agencies have specialized vehicles for transporting this kind of money. Candidates contesting elections have tried to woo voters by making many promises. But here's a candidate who is trying to woo the voters by promising something rather unique. The woman you see on your screen, driving an auto and distributing pamphlets, is Sunita Chaudhary. A look at her and most of you might conclude that she is busy spreading awareness about some grave issue or is busy campaigning for a cause. But that is not the case. She is campaigning not for someone, but for herself. Meet Sunita Chaudhary, Lok Sabha candidate from New Delhi constituency. A candidate from Panthers party, Sunita Chaudhary is an auto driver by profession. She will be locking horns with political biggies like Meenakshi Lekhi from BJP, Ajay Makan from Congress and Ahmadmi party's Ashish Kethan. A unique candidate with a unique agenda. While political bigwigs are promising better governance, roads, proper electric supply and water, Sunita Chaudhary has promised something surprising. Sunita says that she will start a National Lovers Rights Protection Forum to help all those in love. This apart, she has made several other promises, all of which revolve around love. If elected to power, Sunita Chaudhary has promised to come up with a law to keep a check on all those panchayats opposing love. She also promises to start help desk at every police station and also build memorials in the name of those who died fighting for the cause of love. She also promises to encourage love marriages. 
A resident of Meerut, Sunita isn't as educated as the other candidates. She took up auto driving as a profession after she could not land a job elsewhere. She is quite popular among all the auto drivers in Delhi. She is garnering more attention with every passing day and is becoming hugely popular among the youth of Delhi thanks to her promises. और उसको खिलने से पहले ही मुरझा तोड़ दिया जाता है तो आपने देखा होगा कितने युवा जोड़ों की हत्या की कहा के जात जब तक लो जात पात की खाई जो है ना ये चीज खत्म होनी चाहिए She has contested elections on two previous occasions but has not managed to register a win This time around she hopes to register a win thanks to her unique poll agenda Sanjay Dikshit for News 9 Delhi one of the important politicos in the state's coastal region is maintaining a studious silence throwing the actoral calculations of key candidates completely off guard. Here is a report on this development. The Udupi Chikmaglur Lok Sabha constituency has also been witnessing hectic campaigning. Here the Congress sitting MP Jay Prakash Hegde is pitted against BJP's former energy minister Shobha Karan Laje. One of the biggest mysteries is the support that a prominent politic on the region, Haladi Srinivas Shetty, would extend. Haladi is no ordinary politico. He has enormous clout and has won the Kundapur Assembly elections in 2013 after he defeated the BJP candidate. But Haladi Srinivas Shetty is now maintaining a studious silence, and that is where the problem has begun for both Hegde and Shoba. Both want Haladi's support to win this crucial Lok Sabha seat. Kundapura has 1.8 lakh voters, with a majority of them belonging to the Bunt community, and both BJP and Congress are keen to secure the maximum voters from this community. And Haladi exerts significant influence over the Bunt community. A local candidate, or Illi, or Barbeko, I don't know who is Martha. I mean, mostly like male guys, and the central level, Modi Barbeko. That is why now BJP is supporting Martha. It is being said that some of the supporters of Haladi Srinivas Shetty, notably those who are municipal council and village panchayat members, are actively supporting Shobha Karan Laje's candidature. Jay Prakash Hegade, the Congress candidate, however, claims that some of Haladi's supporters are backing him. Hegde, who was defeated by Haladi in one of the assembly elections, knows all too well the power of the latter. Our Gaurav Vivechani ke bitti the nenta aur heli dare. Adhena Gaurav iste na kela aur BJP ke bemlawan na korte dare kela aur namgu bemlawan na korte dare. It is also being said that the supporters of Haladi have informally divided themselves in supporting each of the national party candidates. Namma samstika karya krama gulo, paksha da antari ka sam karya krama gulo, bapa hudde gulo badala da hinna lele. Matu loka sabha chuna mane gulo hatira bandha hinna lele. Na vandastu samparka bandha madhi abara notice na uttare ke uchatane anta yavde krama mane kai gulde. Matte elra na vandagi koi koi kondoi be koi anta prayatna mane dil. Clearly, the Udupi Chikmaglur Lok Sabha contest will be keenly watched, not just for the high-profile campaigning but also due to the silence of a prominent politico. A new Snan report. Today we are going to introduce a special person to you from Damanagari. But in what way is this man special? Well, take a look. Meet Hebbal Kenchavirappa. He is contesting on ticket from Vichara Jagrati Congress Party. You may find it difficult to believe, but this man has contested five general elections. Interestingly, his party symbols is a chapel. He goes around the district, canvases with a chapel in hand. He specifically visits footwear shops or cobblers sitting on footpaths and seeks vote from them. Meet 
With a bag in his hand that contains different posters of anti-corruption issues and a drum, our man goes around with absolutely no fanfare. No cronies accompanying him. But good, I don't tell her to honor the world. Drubage, he and Unspeak and Nangi Dakter. This is the first person they are taking this decision. This is the 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 decision. This in the remaining five acres of land, he grows arcanet on two acres of land, and in the remaining area, he, his wife, son, and daughter-in-law reside. Kenchiwirapa indeed is a unique figure. In these days of pompous canvassing, he's all alone, hankering for nothing but sincere votes. Basavraj Dodamani, News 9, Davangere.